Hey everybody, just wanted to show you a couple of new tools I just picked up here that uh, I think will be nice additions to my tool, uh, my everyday tool bag. Um, so we'll just get right into it here with the uh, this M12 charger. Uh, it's actually a um, power, you can use it as a power bank with an M12 battery or you can use it as a compact charger for the M12 batteries. I think it takes about two and a half hours to get a full charge, which is considerably longer than the regular rapid charger but that's all right uh, it comes with this really like nice high quality usb cable and uh and wall adapter here um you know these nice metal anodized ends and stuff and the cord's like real sturdy it's almost too nice to use you know it seems like it's impossible to find a good usb cable these days so it seems like they're all crappy so i don't know i, I, I might might tuck that away and just use one of my more disposable ones yeah it's because it'll be knocking around in the job site bag um so it seems like it's gonna be pretty useful um my main thing yeah i'm not really i'm not really thinking it'll be nice to have it as a backup charger and it'll be nice to maybe be able to plug in my phone or something if i need to uh, rather than have to you know walk down to the van or something and plug it in um but my main thought uh, in this well there's actually two things one one of which I learned about after buying it um, but my main thing was to be uh, uh, for I have, I have a little USB powered soldering iron um, it's just good for little fiddly stuff you know um, that's the only thing uh, I would be dealing with out you know out in the field if I have anything that's like a real soldering job I'm going to bring it back to my desk anyway so uh, it's just you know it's kind of a dorky little iron but it, it, it works surprisingly well actually for just little uh little small stuff that I would be doing. So I'm thinking it's gonna be a good power bank for that. Um, you know, should be able to get, it's only a, a 10 watt soldering iron or something like that. So I think it, you know, should get some decent life out of it. Um, and then also, so that's, you know, that's a, that's a USB port. So it's gonna be a standard five volts out. And then this, uh, I guess this is for their uh, heated jackets or whatever. It's a direct 12 volt out. So uh, that looks like a pretty standard barrel plug to me. So uh, I'm gonna you know, make a little, either some kind of a you know adapter or maybe just find one of those plugs in my collection and then just leave the bare wire ends on there so I can use it. Uh, you know, if I, I need a 12 volt test source for something, you know, uh, I could you know you could wire up a automotive socket there to test like automotive stuff too before uh, plugging it into your vehicle wiring system. You know, so. Anyways, uh, yeah, the, the charger in port for if you're charging the batteries right there. It's got a nice little flap, you know, those little weatherproof, weather-resistant flaps on there or whatever. Uh, charging indicator LEDs, battery indicator LEDs. I think that's like a, a on and off switch just if you're using the for the USB port here. So all in all, that seemed like a pretty good buy. Not for I managed to find it for about thirty-five bucks. Um, so that's a little steep for what it is, I think, still. But you know, yeah, you're not gonna get it for less than that. I think they're retailing it for like sixty bucks or something, which is that, that I wouldn't buy it at that price point. But shop around and you might be able to find it a little bit uh, better price. So, um, and then some of these climb drivers, and we'll get into those. Uh, first one uh, is kind of the least interesting, I guess. I already have one of these, and it's a. Uh, I uh, just wanted to have another one. I've in my in my regular tool bag. I have one uh, stashed in my uh, kind of uh, my laptop bag. It doesn't have a laptop in it, but it is a laptop bag, and that's kind of my uh, uh, kind of my just tech kind of techie kit. You know, kind of more my uh, uh, le more like doing an inspection and diagnosis kind of kit rather than actual repairs. You know, um, so it was a good thing to have in there, and it's uh, most is a you know, uh, sometimes you just need a stubby driver and then I was, it was a good screwdriver to keep in there to take, uh, you know, battery covers and stuff off of the instruments that are in there. You know, I've got uh, all temperature sensors and, uh, um, psychrometers, stuff like that in there. So, uh, I leave it in there for that reason. So this one's just going to drop into my, my regular, uh, go bag. So, uh, what is this? I think it's a five in one. The stubby is cause you got the quarter inch, maybe six in one. Yeah, you got the quarter inch and five sixteenths nut drivers, and then the uh, this the small and large Phillips. Yeah, so yeah, I guess you got six six and one. So it's a pretty uh pretty slick little stubby driver, you know. Better than having uh individual ones for sure, and uh, it's you know kind of it's just as stubby as they would be. So 
not really different form factor. Anyways, so then this one uh, was, I didn't, uh, I guess I've, it's interesting enough, I think I've seen it before, but I just never really took it into account. I just thought like, oh, well, it's just a, uh, an older 11 and one or something. But no, it's an extended reach, which is something that you run into with the 11 and one is sometimes you, it, it can't go some places where a standard shank screwdriver can, and this kind of resolves that issue. Now, of course, it's not a, um, not a uh, eleven and one. It's only six and one, but you know it, it has the, all the basics you need. You know, it doesn't have the torques and square and stuff, but uh, you don't usually need an extended bit on those either. And if you do, then you just have to go buy it, I guess. Cause that's I've never, I can't say I've come into that situation where I've needed it, and I'm sure it exists, but. So, anyways, that one's a good buy. So, you get the same thing, quarter inch, five sixteenths, and then uh, number one and number two Phillips, and uh, whatever it is, three sixteenths and quarter inch flat screwdriver blades. So, all, you know, typical, nice, client quality stuff. Uh, these are all made in Taiwan, these uh, these three. Uh, this, this new one that I'm going to get to last, because I think that's probably the best. Um, that one is made in the USA, but I think that's because it's a new product, and maybe they'll move it to Taiwan too. I don't know, but I don't know how what their policy is. But the uh, so this is the uh, seven and one multi net driver, which you may have seen or heard about. They make I believe a five and one and a six and one also. that are just uh, lighter. You know, this is definitely pretty heavy, and just kind of have more a smaller range of size and. I think the five and one has a an, an odd like a three sixteenths or something that none of the other one the six and the seven and one don't have. But I mean, I've I don't think I've ever needed a three sixteenths net driver. So, but that's just me and my line of work, I guess. So this thing is definitely pretty cool. It uh, gonna have trouble taking it apart with one hand here, just shooting on the phone, of course. But uh, you trust me, it's got got a lot of drivers in there. Yeah. You got uh, all the sizes, really, and I guess get the card here. Okay. Quarter inch, three eighths, nine sixteenths, five sixteenths, seven sixteenths, eleven thirty seconds, which is an odd one too, but and half inch. So I think that's a uh, pretty much. I, I believe that's the size of these kind of standard Klein nut driver set, like the individual ones. I believe that's a seven piece set with those sizes. So this basically replaces that, which is really nice. Um, I didn't even carry around the individual nut drivers in my go bag because I just knew they were going to take up too much space. So I kind of just left them stuck in the uh, the bucket caddy uh, and leave them in the van unless I specifically need a individual nut driver for something, but this I'm just going to go ahead and throw in the bag so I won't have to do that now because that I can I can justify this amount of space and it's like I said it's a little bit heavy like I don't know this is probably with the handle it's probably a good you know pound and a half maybe two pounds almost um so but yeah uh, and uh, you know the uh, half inch and nine sixteenths I don't I don't think the uh I don't even yeah maybe I do I think I do have a nine sixteenths driver but it's not um uh, I don't think that it doesn't, it definitely isn't magnetic tip and which all of these are. So that's a nice feature. And, uh, you know, that the nine sixteenths one is going to be pretty deep too. Like with all the other ones out of there, the nine sixteenths and half inch. So you could probably get on a piece of all thread or whatever. So that's a cool feature. And I think it'd be worth it. And then what's definitely cool is that this kind of this, this quarter inch drive on here, which will definitely fit a socket. It, it makes it a, you know, an infinite, <laughs> infinite in one nut driver, really. I mean, you put whatever you want in there. So uh, that, to me, definitely gets rid of the, the worry about not having the 316s, especially because you could, if you really needed to, snap a quarter-inch socket on there. So anyways, so I thought that was pretty cool, and it was a worthwhile buy. I think it was about 30 bucks. So that definitely, again, definitely less than a full nut driver set. And, uh, and I think that was just well worth it for the safe uh, space and uh, I think weight savings too. Like, you know, it's pretty heavy, but I know it's not as heavy as uh, having all those individuals. So, And this one is definitely cool. As soon as I saw this one, I, I it was like an instant, I got to have it kind of thing. I'm not, not usually impulsive like that, but I was like, this thing is just really cool because it really does have everything you need for like an HVAC service call in one. And I'm probably going to take start taking this one instead of my usual trusty 11 in one uh, for the average uh, service call. 
because you know as far as nut drivers you know it's got the quarter inch and 5 sixteenths right here with this cool like quick quick release thing with the slide lock you know it just slides up and just like that and you can lock it in place with the nut although if you were doing like something light i don't think you'd even need to do that so uh, you know, and you know how it is when, if it's especially an older machine or something, you know, people put different screw head sizes and, or in duct work, you know, they put like different sizes in there and that's just in, infuriating, but uh, it'd be less infuriating if you could just change it that easily. So I'm um, looking forward to that. Um, and then on the other side, so again, you got, you still have your three eighths, so you haven't lost any of the nut driver function from the 11 and ones. So you got three eighths over here still. And again, what do you usually use? You know, number two Phillips and the quarter inch, uh, quarter inch uh, flat is on the other side. Um, and then the, this is definitely one of the one of the other the other end of it. You know, between the the slide drive and just having these two these two bits on here was uh, was kind of made it worthwhile for me. To set it down here for a minute. Sorry. Ugh. Having the uh, thermostat size screwdriver and the Schrader core extractor on there, I mean that's you know you really just grab this this tool because I, I I frequently forget my little pocket screwdriver you know for the thermostat even though I, I probably should just always have that in my pocket too but you know how it is you know so uh, to have that and the Schrader core on there and then uh, again all basically all the other functionalities I needed out of the eleven and one plus this slick slide drive thing it was a, a pretty uh, pretty obvious buy for me so um yeah i think that's gonna be pretty cool and i'm still gonna keep the 11 and 1 nearby but uh i'm, I'm thinking that's gonna be my no my new go-to when i grab uh my uh my usual four tools or or five tools you know the klein screwdriver the wire strippers diagonal cutters and uh and multimeter yeah four i guess but uh yeah so yeah, that's uh that's pretty much it. I, I did order a couple other things here recently too. Um, got some of those safety cut drywall blades. I don't know if you ever seen those. Maybe I'll, I'll show you those sometime too. But I got a couple more things coming in, so I might do another uh, quick little video. And uh, just wanted to check in, so you guys know I'm not 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 completely dead. So uh, just been busy and uh, work and life and stuff. So. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, just a little new tool update for now, and uh, you know, I uh, appreciate you guys watching. You know, whatever uh, ten or fifteen of you uh, <laughs> uh, end up watching the video or whatever. So, uh, uh, cheers! Uh, have a good one, guys.